So for someone, someone who res- who has a curse on them, where someone has paid a lot of money for there to be a curse on that person, many times the prophetic key is for that person who has the curse to sow to the no. kingdom of God, the true kingdom of Zero God. Zero times. To sow, to give to God. That's a, not a, a thing. good seed. A, not a dinky seed, but a good seed. And in the spiritual realm, it removes the person, it withdraws that person from that curse that carried no, a lot doesn't. of weight because of no. the money put on it. There's different levels of weights to curses. Um, also, if you were delivered today, I encourage you to sow a special seed to seal this deliverance, as it says in Psalms, that every covenant, there is a sacrifice. That's not and true, bro. With all due disrespect, she's bugging out, bro. This is where I start to thank God that like, he allowed me to go through witchcraft. So I could tell you guys that this is 100% cap by experience, all right? Like seven years ago was my last year in witchcraft before I was saved. I had thousands of dollars in crystals, tarot cards, and other items, you know what I'm saying? I went to the witchcraft store every single week, bro. Demons will help me make money and I will just go buy more stuff. Jesus saved me though. And I've been through several deliverances to be 100% set free. But today I'm delivered and completely set free from witchcraft. And guess how much God charged me for that? Zero dollars, bro, and zero cents. The blood is enough, guys. The crazy part is she actually did this to a child who needed deliverance. anything specific with witchcraft like tarot cards bring my kids to psychics renounce it specifically i renounce going to a psychic to not with him but with my older kids to, for our future for what our purpose was and not jesus because i didn't know now it's like a more complex deliverance so sometimes it's not just about the commanding the demons but there's other keys that need to be unlocked. And one of them is to sow seeds. Did you pay money to the psychic? Yes. Yes. How much? Who knows? Hundreds. Going for years because I didn't know, but I've been following you for six years now. So it's ongoing for years. So in the spiritual realm, there's laws. I've been, I've been sowing 10% of everything that comes through my hands for the last two years. 10%. God's saying more. Okay. Because ten percent is was what's what what God. So now we need to sow specifically for His deliverance okay, Lord. and speak. This is for His deliverance, and and a good amount. If there's a good amount given to psychics, it needs to be a good amount because that's the key that needs to unlock His complete freedom, and it needs to be what His power is. Like Bible Church, for example, you can sow here. It's Jesus. We have to be humble to receive these keys from God and to understand that the devil's not messy. He threw up a bunch, not just vile, but he was like, throw up, and then he started smiling. She made the mom sew money while the kid manifested on the floor until Catherine felt like the amount she sewed in was good enough to get the demon out. This is witchcraft, y'all. I'm telling you right now. See, in witchcraft, they'll pretend to help you through demonic power for a price, though. You got to pay. Because witchcraft is a lucrative business and people can't believe for some reason that Jesus paid it all, that he paid the price. We always want to complicate stuff um, and got to be extra. All this money and exchanging like that only works in a scenario of witchcraft because it's all about power, control, manipulation and money is a big motivator for these people. Since when, bro? Since when did demons need money? (laughs) <laughs> oh, 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 you only sold a hundred dollars that's not enough to get me out wait wait what are you doing no oh no you sold in two thousand dollars i have to leave now come on guys god don't need your money and demons don't need your money either sowing is a generosity thing when the holy spirit moves in us to sow into someone or a church or something because generosity is a fruit of the spirit if we could just pay a certain amount for demons to leave us then what we need deliverance for just look in the mirror bro 
right? And ask the demon how much to leave you alone. And maybe the demon got Chase or TD Bank or Wells Fargo, or maybe just ask the demon if it got a cash app, right? If demons obeyed the name of Benjamin Franklin and George Washington, then what we need the name of Jesus for? Let's just start, let's, let's stop, let's stop anointing right let's stop anointing with oil and start throwing quarters and dimes at people let's stop anointing our homes with oil and start rubbing pennies on our walls what if you're homeless what about poor people what if you simply just don't have it no deliverance for you that's wild bro come on now this is false doctor man throw this in the trash on my mama